Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fetal meconium peritonitis. A young female patient came with amenorrhea for more than 8 months and less fetal movements for 3 days. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the fetal abdomen showing multiple dilated small intestinal loops and you can see hyperechoic debris within these loops. There is no visible peristalsis. You can see a hyperechogenic bowel segment, which is not only the echogenic bowel, but also the calcification of the peritoneum. Here you can see a small amount of peritoneal collection, that is ascites. These dilated bile loops with layering sediments and ascites calcification and echogenic bowel indicate the feature of meconium peritonitis. This echogenic intraluminal contents may come from infarction, necrosis or hemorrhage. These features indicate the bowel perforation and ultimately the formation of meconium peritonitis. This intestinal loop doesn't look quite like a coffee bean shape. We can't say volvulus confidently, but after delivery it should get confirmed. So this was a 32 plus week sized fetus and you can see the abdomen shows distended bowel loops with layering debris and this is the anechoic ascitic fluid which is a feature of perforation here. The overall skin looks quite thickened. In this type of cases, hydrops may suggest very poor prognosis. Again, the dilated loops with internal echogenic layering which may come from hemorrhage, infarction or necrosis. This is the ascitic fluid here, you can see. This is the hyperechogenic skin, looks quite thickened here. Here is the echogenic content. This is not only the echogenic ball but also the calcification as you can see some posterior sound attenuation. This calcification is a very important feature that suggests the meconium peritonitis. So in summary, we have seen dilated small intestinal loops with luminal layering echogenic debris and no definite peristalsis. We have seen peritoneal collection that is ascites, echogenic bowel and peritoneal calcifications. The overall features suggest meconium peritonitis due to bowel perforation. Now the take home message. The abrupt onset of distended bowel with luminal echogenic debris, loss of peristalsis and ascites go in favor of valvulus with perforation which needs urgent intervention. If you detect high drops in this fetus, then it will indicate a very poor prognosis. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.